in this riddle about three frogs on a lily pad, one of them decides to jump off. How many frogs are left? Three. First lesson in how to make a decision, you're not doing the thing yet. You're making a decision to do the thing. Okay, let's take these decisions. What to have for breakfast, and whether or not to change your living situation or your major or your job. The more time you'll have to live with your decision, the more time you'll want to invest into making it. Breakfast is gonna take 15 minutes, so maybe 15 seconds to decide. Sweet, savory, or soup. Always have more than two options and always have something logical. Whether or not to quit your job, that's gonna affect more of your life than eating a meal. Now again, the dilemma shouldn't be broken up between two options, whether or not to quit your job. The dilemma is having only two options. You're stuck between them, that black and white thinking. No good, have more options. One for each letter of the English alphabet. That way they don't seem ranked. They're all fair contenders. I'm gonna speed up my voice so we can get through all 26. Quit, stay, ask for a raise, fire boss, have an office party, retire early, change jobs, trade jobs with someone else, fake death, get fired, change attitude, list, job benefits, transfer, go on a leave, get pregnant, stop going to work, pretend to quit, work extra hours, ask for what I need, dress better, work out before work, pack fancy lunches, reward myself, fall in love with a coworker, talk it over with boss, ask for help. The goal is for the best decision to reveal itself, to have one of those aha moments that comes with being creative. If you still don't know what to do, the answer is simple you need more information. Ask questions. Go to Google. What should I do? Talk to your friends. Get people's experiences. Read. What would Hermione do? Or ask Siri, should I get another dog? My favorite is to ask children. First I start off like, eh, this kid is not gonna know whether or not I should make this kid gluten-free. And then the kid totally knows. Asking for help is a really important adulting skill. So is sharing your experience. If you want to be great at making decisions, pass on the wisdom. It's the adult thing to do.